New at 5.30 tomorrow marks two years since a Lombard man was kidnapped by the Taliban. His family says they want his release to be a priority for the U.S. government. WGN's Megan Dwyer joins us with the latest on those negotiations. Megan. So Jackie Taman, he's originally from Lombard. That is actually where his family still lives. Uh, he had been living in Afghanistan for a decade, working as a civil engineer before he was kidnapped. His family says he did nothing wrong but remains a prisoner. Since right before the pandemic hit, 59-year-old Mark Frerichs has been isolated in the mountains of Afghanistan, kidnapped in Kabul by the Haqqani Network, a close arm of the Taliban. He is the only American hostage in Taliban custody. U.S. and Taliban officials have been negotiating for his release for more than a year. The Taliban wants to trade Frerichs for an Afghan drug dealer who's been imprisoned in the U.S. on heroin charges since 2005. In a statement released this week, the Frerichs family says no progress has been made. Quote, we trusted the Trump administration and they did nothing. We had high hopes for the Biden administration, but they too have repeatedly put other issues ahead of Mark's safe return. In response, Mark's sister Charlene issued yet another statement saying what we really want is to have Mark home. We know the president has options in front of him to make that happen and hope Mark's safe return will become a priority for him personally. An appointed op Ed this week in the Washington Post, his family pleaded with the Biden administration to do something. They say they're jaded, losing hope that the U.S. government even cares. The U.S. Department of State says it's doing all it can. Today, writing, the United States has raised Mark's case in every meeting with the Taliban, and we have been clear that the legitimacy the Taliban seek is impossible to consider while they hold a U.S. citizen hostage. His release is among our core non-negotiable priorities. The family says tonight they believe the government could be stalling because they're concerned about midterm elections, but they do not want this obviously to be about politics. They want their family member home. Oh, two years. My goodness. Thank you. Mm -hmm.